Today I am going to discuss programs by using input function. Last class we discussed three programs, basic simple programs. Now today I am going to discuss few more questions by using input function. See the first question. Write a program to find the area of a square. You have to find out the area of a square. What do you want to find out? Area of a square. You know the equation. What is the equation to find out the area of a square? A square. Or we will, we will say side into side. That means you need side. Side into side. So you need the side of a uh, square. Using that side, you can find out the area of the square. That means uh, input of this program is side of the right uh, side of the square or one side of the square so one more time i'll explain first question area of the square there you want to calculate the area of a square what is the equation to find out the area of a square equation to find out the area of a square is side into side that means you need side then only you can calculate the area so the input of this program is you have to input one side of the square. Square has four sides are there. All the sides are of same size. So you need one side. Using that one side you can calculate the area of the square. I will try out that program in Python. Now you know how to uh, do the programs in Python. One or two programs I will try out here. I will change the comment statement. Here I am going to write the comment statement as area of a square. This is the comment statement that I am going to calculate here. So comment statement will not be executed at all. So when I see this program, this comment statement, I can identify that this program is used to find out the area of a square. Now I told you to find out the area of a square. You have to input one side. I am going to say side equal to. You can give the variable name. Any variable name there. Int input. Enter one side. Enter one side of the square. Enter one side of the square. So one side you accepted as stored in the variable side. Now you got the side. You, took, you can calculate the area. So, I am going to calculate the area is side into side, side into side. So, area is calculated as A square. A square means side into side. So, that side into side is calculated. Now, I can use print area, area of the square is, area of the square is, I can give a column over there. See that what will happen, how the output is coming. After this double quotes, put the comma. After the double quotes, put the comma. And you calculate the area and stored inside the variable area. Now run this program and you can see the output. You have to input one side, press the enter key. Normally it shows the output there. One more time run the program. Enter one side of the square. One side of the square is 5. So area is 25. 5 into 5 is calculated and area of the square is displayed. So that is all about that program. See the first sentence what I written is comment statement. Now the next question. See the next question program to find the area of a rectangle. You have to find out the area of a rectangle. What is the equation to find out the area of a rectangle? Length into breadth. You can calculate the area of the rectangle as length into breadth. So that means what is the input of this program? Input of this program is length and breadth. Calculation. What should be calculated? You have to calculate the area. To calculate the area, you know the equation. 
from the equation you can say what is the input of that program so here input of this program is length and breadth program is, uh, program is similar to the one which you done already i'll try out that here length and breadth so i'm going to use l equal to int input and uh, the length of the rectangle and the length of the rectangle next close the bracket properly see then i just i just close only one bracket after that when i press the enter key it's coming over here normally it should come on the left side it's not moving to the left side because that one bracket is missing there so you have to close that bracket i am going to close that bracket and press the enter key so normally the cursor will coming over the next line next i have to calculate the breadth so i have to input the breadth so end input and and the breadth to bracket next we have to calculate the area i am going to calculate the area is a equal to how will you calculate the area by using this variable you have to say how to calculate the area you know that is length into breadth so that is a normal equation but in the, in this program your length is there in the variable l and your breadth is in the variable b so based on that variable you have to calculate it so i am going to calculate is l into b length into breadth now i can display that value print area area is so area is capital a you try out this program run this program and see the output so that is all about that question now what is the next question next question in this program program to input the base and height of a triangle and find its area see the third question what do you want to calculate you want to calculate the area area of a triangle you know the equation what is the equation to calculate the area of a triangle half b h so what is this b b is the base what is h h is the height so what are the input of this program input of this program is base and height so into the base and don't don't want to input half half is a uh, constant that you don't want to input here you want to input only base and height just input base and height and calculate b into h divided by 2 half bh means b into h divided by 2 so that is the python expression now in max terms you can say half bh but when we come across here it will be b into h the whole divided by 5 uh, the whole divided by 2 so using that equation you can calculate the area and after that you have to print the area only when you print the area you can see that output otherwise it will not display on your shell prompt output will not you will not get any output for the program use the print statement to display the output and see the next question fourth question write a python program to accept the radius of a circle and print its area simple question you need to find out the area of a circle what do you want to input you want to input the radius of the circle just input the radius of the circle using that radius you calculate the area you know the equation pi r square pi means 3.14 3.14 into r into r that is the equation to calculate the area of a circle 3.14 into r into r where 3.14 you don't want to input don't input 3.14 3.14 is a constant you just want to input only the radius after that write the equation as 3.14 into r into r Question number 5. Write a Python program to input a number and print its five, uh, first 5 multiples of it. Input a number and find the first 5 multiples of that number. You have to calculate. What do you have to calculate? First, you have to find out what should be calculated there in the program. Here in my program, we have to calculate the first 5 multiples of the A number. To find out the first 5 multiples of a number, that number you have to input. 
so the this program the input of this program is a number input of this program is a number and after inputting that number you have to calculate the five multiples of that number now i'll do that one here i am going to change the same program when you do it in the pro in your system the save it separately each of the program that you are trying out in python that must be saved separately i am going to use so you have to what is the input of this program a number yet input a number after that you have to display five first five multiples of that number so i am going to say a equal to int input enter the number enter the number so you accepted a number a number is stored inside the variable a you have to display the first five multiples of a which is the first multiple of a what is the first multiple of 5 5 if your number is 5 what is the first multiple of 5 5 into 1 equal to 5 what is the second multiple of 5 it will be 10 5 into 2 is 10 what is the third multiple of 5 15 how you got it 15 5 into 3 fourth multiple is 20 5 into 4 Fifth multiple multiple is twenty five five into five. So if your number is five, then you can calculate this way. Here number is a. Your number is stored inside the variable a. So a into one will give you the first multiple. A into two will give you the second multiple. A into three third multiple. Same way for, till the fifth five multiples. Now we will start it. I am going to display the first multiple. Here, I am going to give a message. Print. See the message. I am going to give this way. First, five multiples of a are. See that this is a long message. I am going to give it over here. first to five multiples of a are first i am going to display the first multiple print how will you find out the first multiple of a a into 1 you will get the first multiple if a is 5 5 into 1 you will get 5 now i am going to calculate the second multiple second multiple is a into 2 i think you understood how you what you are writing over there a into 2 a is the number That into two will give you the second multiple. Same way, print a into three. Print a into four. See, this is a into four. And next is print a into five. See that wherever you are using a, corresponding value will be taken over there. Now run this program. I'll show you the first five multiples of the given number. You have to input the number. I'll save the program sample. Enter the number. Number is five. First five multiples of five are five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I didn't ask to display the multiplication table. I just want to see only the multiples. That is why I just display like this. If you want to display the multiplication table, that you can try out there. Now, just only the multiples is displayed over there. That is all about that program. Now you run the same program, give another input, and see the out output. Now, next question. Next question in the presentation is: See then, program to obtain sixth question. Program to obtain the temperature in Celsius and convert it into Fahrenheit using the formula F equal to C into nine by five plus thirty two. What do you want to calculate there? You want to convert a temperature into Fahrenheit. Convert the given temperature into Fahrenheit. That is the calculation. 
that you want to calculate there. So, to calculate the given temperature into Fahrenheit, what is the input of that program? You want to calculate the input Fahrenheit. So, the input of the program is temperature in Celsius. So, input of this program is temperature in Celsius. That temperature you have to convert into Fahrenheit. Is it right? Is it understood all of you? Here to calculate temperature in Fahrenheit. So, for that calculation, you need temperature in Celsius. So, that Celsius value you have to accept. That you have to accept first. And using that Celsius value, you have to calculate that into Fahrenheit. Equation is already given there in the question itself. One more program I will try out. See that. I am going to start a new file. C equal to int input and the temperature in Celsius. Enter the temperature in Celsius. So, you are entering the temperature in Celsius value that will be there in the variable C. Now, you can calculate. The equation is given in the question itself. You can calculate the Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit value. Equation. What is the equation to calculate the Fahrenheit value? Equation to calculate the Fahrenheit value is F equal to C into 9 by 5 plus 32. C into 9 by 5 plus 32. That is the equation to calculate the Fahrenheit value. So, just apply the equation. F equal to. So, your Celsius value is there in the variable C itself. So, C into 9 divided by 5 plus 32. C into 9 divided by plus 9 divided by 5 plus 32. If the equation is given there, just apply the equation. So, check it what is the input of that program. That input variable you have to use it in the equation. Now, I can say print. Print. Fahrenheit value. Fahrenheit value is, you can give a long message, I am not giving now. So, here Fahrenheit value is F. Now, run this program, you can see the output over there. Sample 10. I am going to give the temperature in Celsius, 54. Its Fahrenheit value is this one. Same way you can do the program. So, one more thing. Always when you do the program, just write, start the program with comment statement. Start the program with the comment statement. Whatever the question given there. Based on that question, you have to generate, you have to create a, uh, a comment statement. Here, this program, okay, what, what is the comment statement you can give it over there? What is the, what is the comment statement you can give it over there? So, conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit. That is the program is doing there. This program is converting Celsius value to Fahrenheit. So, based on the question, you have to form a comment statement. I am going to write the comment statement here. I told the comment statement must begin with a hard sign. So, I am going to give conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Celsius to Fahrenheit. Yes, this can get it. Give, you can give this as the comment statement. So, when you open the program, you can see yeah, this by using this, when you see this comment statement itself, you can see yes, that program is converting uh, temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So, this major questions are mentioned in this slide. Now, try out each of the program. Try out my, each of the program in Python screen. After that, copy down into your notebook. Don't write the question aloud in your notebook. After each question, try in the system, copy down into your notebook. So, when you do the program, start the program with a comment statement. And use the variable, proper variable there. Meaningful variable, you have to use it there in the program. Now, see that, complete all the six questions. Next section, we can, next, next topic, you can study in the next class. Okay, thank you.